Professor Kiss here. The option to abandon a project is another real option. In this video, we will solve the following abandonment option problem. Project Y has an initial upfront cost of 200,000 at time zero. The project is expected to produce after tax net cash flows of 80,000 at the end of the next three years. At a 10% WAC, what is Project Y's NPV? First, we draw a timeline with three years and we add the negative cash flow of 200,000 at time zero to represent the upfront cost. Then we add the 80,000 cash inflows each year for the next three years. If we calculate the NPV of this project, we'll obtain a negative NPV so we shouldn't undertake the project. However, Project Y's after-tax cash flow depends critically upon customer acceptance of the product. There's a 60% chance that the product will be wildly successful and produce after-tax cash flows of 150,000, but a 40% chance it'll produce negative after-tax cash flows. 25, negative 25,000. Consequently, we draw a decision tree representing both outcomes, the 60% probability of success and the 40% probability of getting negative cash flows. We add the 150,000 yearly cash flows and the negative 25,000 yearly cash flows to the respective lines. When we compute the NPV of the customer using the product, which corresponds to the 60% probability line, we obtain a positive NPV of 193,000. When we compute the NPV of the customer not using the project, which there is a 40% probability, we obtain a negative NPV, negative 262,000. Lastly, we have to calculate the expected MPV of this real option. We do that by taking 60% of 173,000, the MPV under the 60% probability of success scenario, and add it to 40% of the negative of 262,000 under the 40% failure probability. This results in a expected MPV, as we saw before, of negative 1,051.84. The company does not have the option to delay the project. However, the company may abandon the project after one year if the customer has not adopted the product. And if the project is abandoned, there will be no operating costs incurred nor cash inflows received after the first year. So now let's look at the NPV with the option to abandon after the first year. Notice the cash flows on the top line are like they were before, but on the bottom line, the cash flows stop after year one since we will abandon the project if it results in negative cash flows. Hence, the expected NPV works out to be negative 222,727 if they don't use this project because they spent 200,000 at time zero and now they're getting a negative 25,000. Um, but if they do do it, they're pro we've got a set of 173,000. So the option to abandon makes this project have a positive NPV of 14725 So the option to abandon makes the seemingly negative NPV a positive one. A final question, should an abandonment option affect a project's WAC? The answer is yes. Abandonment should have an effect on the WAC because that Abandonment option reduces risk and therefore reduces the whack. So the option to abandon is valuable.